By the blessing of the icons and their emissaries, we found the child. They brought something else to light. There's a darkness coming. In the shadows are old enemies. And new allies. What will survive in the dawn? Of the last I clade. <laughs> Welcome to Garflag Games. Shut up, you. Let me say hello to the people at home. Yeah, Graham. Oh, yeah, yeah, Graham. <laughs> um, hello, folks. Welcome to Garflag Games. My name is Millie, um, and we're going to play some Coriolis. Um, we are not going to misbehave in any manner, because um, you might notice already, unfortunately, there is an empty screen next to me. Is that the right direction or that direction over there? One yeah, of Pete has not transcended mortality and become an eternal emissary of the icons. Are you sure? Yes. Have we checked? Can someone see if there's a big light on over <laughs> St. Albans right now? We're going to look out the window, just check. Raj, could you just look <laughs> out the window? Just make sure. All right. Um, well, unfortunately, Pete's not with us tonight, but they, I have three friends, question mark, after that, that um, warm-up vocals. One of us is hurt. <laughs> I'm not sure which one, though. It's probably not Graham. I have three friends with me this evening. We're going to play some Coriolis. How are you doing, Ben? You all right? I am well, thank you. Excellent. Good. Um, tell us uh, who your character is, because it's been a couple of weeks since we played. Yes, I, I shall be playing Shanaz al Bahia, who is a privileged Dabar and Mithra, which is a kind of courtesan, follower of the dancer, fancies herself as a little bit of a journalist, but is actually more of a space Kardashian with a Twitter following. Uh, everything's fine. There's definitely nothing dodgy going on. She's not married multiple times and definitely isn't involved with the secret temple cult of assassins. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Believe believe that. Um, I won't believe the gossip papers. Uh, also playing Coriolis with me tonight is Adun. How are you doing, pal? Oh, fabulous. Thank you. Good. I've managed to tear myself away from the coffee and cheese. Good. Yes. Um, Not at the same time. Apparently. I'm informed. <laughs> Cheesy coffee. Mm, I have oh, I might actually... so many questions. Cheesy coffee. That's it. We've just found our next product. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, uh... That's the oldie version. Is... Oh, like cheese whiz. Yeah, yeah. cheesy yeah. coffee. That's it. Um, we need, like, um, we need to work out the name of this product by Comes the end in of. A pressurized tube. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, aside from inventing disgusting products to populate our mm. Coriolis universe. That does sound utterly horrible. Uh, tell us about uh, Jafar. Hello. Yes, I will be playing Jafar Rukan of the Rukans, a famed space archaeologist and finder of many a mystery and one or two AI that may have transcended. Um, yes, uh, Jafar is uh, very French, but obviously with the spice, so the accent cannot be questioned because it's spice French. Uh, Moroccan likes, space French. He likes to explore and wear the white suit. Uh, a little bit belloc, more belloc than Indiana Jones, really, is what we should be aiming for here. Okay. Um, and last but not least, um, how you doing, Mr. Hughes? I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy to. But you've done that thing with the microphone now. Oh, it was fine before. Is it not fine now? Yeah. No, it's gone. You're like Captain Far Away. Oh. Oh. So in our, our little chat, everything was cool. And did you turn me down? I didn't turn you down. Was I didn't I do saying... anything to you. <laughs> Are you back? She totally did, though. I okay. Uh, am I am I a normal person? Or at least am I at normal volume? I'll rephrase that fairly quickly. It's more audible. All okay. Right. Turn it up to eleven. Turn it up to eleven. Um. Well, is that sound better? Okay. Is that, I, is that good? I, Reasonable. I can just put my face next to the microphone and talk louder. That's cool. All right then. So I am Silsila Zamil, um, who is has been or maybe still is in the Colonial Rangers. Um, thinks he is the absolute shit at flying anything ever. Um, 
sees that like i guess that the soldiers and the grunts are a little bit beneath you know they don't have any real skills they can't fly anything um and he's kind of turned to freelancing after looking at people like shanaz and jafar and thinking how come they have money and i don't maybe if i hang around with them i'll get some money too it's because we're fabulous darling yes yes uh, yeah it's not not because we, we're doing this because we're rich we're not rich because we do this well i guess it hasn't quite worked uh, that out no yet. actually i i am rich because of the xeno archaeology and the monolith and the finding the fabulous things and then the almost being eaten by the dark so right. you know i i remember that i promise not to leave you in my i say wash. almost i was eaten and then i became free again <laughs> i thought you were going to say french like, I was eaten, and then I became French. No, I was French before that. Absolutely. Good to hear. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, when we were playing Coriolis, uh, we uh, left off as we were diving down. We just reached under the water um, the remains of a Legion ship um, that had disappeared almost a year ago through the portals. Mysterious, big big thing where um, it was a massive, massive rescue operation and turned into a huge disaster. The the ship that the was escorting the, the rescue fleet disappeared. We think we've found it and we've been hired to bring back the, the Emerald Disc. Whilst we were perhaps negotiating finding the, the Emerald Disc, um, Shanaz made a, an alternate agreement with our um, contact to perhaps find the Emerald Disc and give it to a news company. It is the agreement that gets us not murdered, though, so we hope kind anyway. of a fan of the not being murdered. Yes, there is also, to ensure we get the Emerald Disc for the right people, being the ones that hired us, two mercenaries who are supposed to be subordinate to somebody. Um, however, they are not. We learned this through um, Pete's character, Yusuf, who may or may not be, is totally a mystic who can look through other people's eyes and see what's going on. Um, joining us on our trip down into the depths of um, an icy planet C mm. is a, <coughs> um, a Skavaran. Mm -hmm. um, but we're in... Absolutely adopting or stealing. Oh, God, yes, we made friends. I mean, we yes. forgot about them. Yes, indeed. The Skavaran and then an, um, a human, mm -hmm. humanite, probably. Yes, we um, saw gills. In we saw some gills who... Um, is that Adia and Kush? Kush, I think it is. Let Kush. me just... I can't read my own right. Let me make ago, sure but... I've got my notes up. Because if you were watching the stream two weeks ago, we, we've planned what's going to happen tonight. Let's see uh, how far off the rails it goes. Dala is the fruit ninja. All going to die. Let's hope not, eh? Let's hope not. So Apart from Jafar, obviously. Apart from Jafar, because he's too fabulous to die. Oh, well, sorry, shouldn't I? So, you know, I don't want to take all of the All of the fabulous. Glory. Are, are no. you saying that your pilot is the expendable one? Because he doesn't feel that way. Oh, there was some wonderful piloting. That was totally not a failure at all. No, we absolutely need our pilot because uh, we can't fly a ship to save our lives. But maybe it's a cute little Skinazi thing can fly the plane. Yeah, maybe. Oh, because yes. Um, there we go. But you just waggle the paddles, right? It cannot be this It's all random. I, I didn't go to any sort of school to learn a thing. Yeah. I mean, my, my cousin, he could fly the starship and he's not that clever. So... Oh, well, I mean, okay. All right. So, so, this is on private comms to Shunaz, just making the plans, just, you know. Um, so, in my <laughs> notes for this session, because I prepped some notes for this session, one of the things I need to ask is, um, I need to ask a little bit more about Jafar 2, which is the little drone that Shunaz is piloting. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, what... My recon probe. Your recon yes. probe. What have you used, like, what have you used Jafar 2 for before now? What are its capabilities? What do we what do we do? Or is it just a shiny uh, piece of tech you bought because you're rich? Floating camera. <clears throat> oh no, this, this has been part of my archaeological kit for many a year. Uh, it uh, got uh, quite crumpled, I think, by uh, 
something on the Shaharazad, uh, but I managed to reconstruct and have it rebuilt back at the uh, shipyards, the uh, drone yards of Coriolis. Uh, it is a, was a standard recon pro, but I have got slightly, well, it's not paranoid because the dark is out to get me. Mm -hmm. So or whatever you call that, I don't know, cautious. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's got a little bit more armor, um, but it is for the looking around and the being, I don't know, observant. Okay, cool. Um, uh, and piloting that back up on our ship, hovering over the ice, not so far away, mm -hmm. is Shinaz, who also has an active com with our two mercenaries who have totally not gone over to the scavenger ship to murder everyone. Nope. No, no. To have a picnic like afternoon. Yeah, totally not going over there to murder everyone. Okay. Um, let me just check one last time. Ouch, that's outrageous. Plus three on observation. Yeah. Oh, it's a very nice probe. Really? I spent quite a lot of money on that. Ouch. I, I need some money, is what I think. Not in, but they in real life, it's great. Dice. Hmm? It has the LiDAR and the radar and all of the sonar and all of those things. It's very nice. And none of the foo boy. It's <laughs> not good in the close combat, just to let you know. So we descended through the water. As we were dropping, you might, like in this picture, I picked this picture behind me that people can see. All these little oh, spots, yeah. these little dots. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Were these um, sugar globes that were rising up from the ship, like floating up. Jafar had snaffled one of them yes. that is, they're quite rare aren't they yes they're, they're rare, rare and expensive yes and expensive like silicilla definitely wants to go and find out where this light is coming from like mm -hmm. if there's some kind of machine or something we could take it and be rich and they're coming out so the the um the ship um let me refresh my name what's the name of the ship um nope it's not written on there let's get the book out not the Ghazali, it was the one that was with the Ghazali. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Zafira. The yeah. Zafira, there we go. Oh, yes, I remember. So the Zafira is balanced on like a precipice, um, completely submerged in this icy water. And the edge that's over the ledge, because it was like long ways across it, uh, edge that's over the ledge, all these little sugar globes streaming out, like some tiny, some big like bubbles from a distance. I believe we decided not to go in that way, but to go in through the cargo hold. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we, we can do what we came for first and then maybe have an explore. We avoided the obvious trap. Or did we? Maybe we got second guessed. We avoided the obvious trap. Do you think there are traps in this big book? I don't. <clears throat> I, I think it's very likely that we will all die. <laughs> but it's okay, you got better last time. Hmm. Did I? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so we break in through the. I gave up my best hat last time, and I still got swallowed by the dark. True, true, true. Um, we break in through the cargo hold. Um, as we. No, no, no. It's called exploring and uh, recording for heritage. It's not breaking in. Okay. It's very important to make the distinction. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Excellent. Um, mm -hmm. I stand corrected. We Research, break... not crime. <laughs> we break in through the cargo hold. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Recording for posterity. All right. We, we record our way in. <laughs> and um, uh, you, Jafar is in an exosuit, isn't he? He's got a big proper one yeah. versus... Oh, yeah. Um, Silsilla's just in a, like a diving suit, and so are the the two. Well, it's probably knitted. <laughs> a knitted diving suit. <laughs> I think Silsilla is currently in kind of like an umbilical tentacle off the side yes, of the exit. I, I was exo shell. I failed something. It was going to drift yeah. off to my doom, but you rescued me. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, like diving gear and then exo suits. All right. So. It, it's not too hard, given like the the exo shell that you you have, to sort of get in through the fit. You know, it takes a while. Um, there is some pushing, some shoving, um, but it, there's no need to make like a test. 
Uh, Some exploratory archaeology. Oh yes, I have I have the full on Sigourney Weaver thermal cutter fitted to the front of my exoshell now. Yes, so. yeah, I like it. I like think that's a really tiny olive. Just go anywhere. <laughs> no, that's the T Rex version. Exactly. Exactly. I, I mean that look was pretty gym. cool. Um, and we have like we we've done before. We we've got a vague idea of what the the layout of the the Zephira should be because it's a mm -hmm. A, a legion they're not you know particularly different in their layouts of ships um shinaz you, you watch all this sort of like eerie kind of moonlight sparkles from all the glow globes no sugar globes floating up um and you can hear um you can hear the dala and farouk um they did the the crossover. They did the exchange. There's been a while while they're piloting their ship, probably about the same length of time as these guys, um, as the crew, your crew, reached the Zafira. Dala and Farouk have reached um, a pressurized cabin, floating, um, and you can hear them talking. They're a bit grumbling about maybe waiting while they do all the, the docking and cutting a seal and that kind of stuff to get in. So, so they're sort of waiting to to explore what was um what they think is um stasis chamber with the stasis coffins and stuff so there's there's a little bit of anticipation um one of them uh is wondering whether anybody's going to be alive in stasis and if they will all have had um portal stasis psychosis or whether they'll be safe because they're asleep um we push our way into the zafira um, and it's dark. And as we kind of um, move in, um, there is no, there's no like rush of air out of the, the things which leads you to believe at least some parts of this are, are completely um, full of water, um, not sealed as they should be. Um, but it still allows us to, to kind of drift through um, the spooky air. I have a question for uh, Pilot Captain. Mm -hmm. Captain, I'm on the uh, captain, in your mini uh, weaponry, do you have anything that actually works underwater? Um, does an accelerator pistol work underwater? I believe it fires compressed. Uh, accelerator pistol. Uh, it, um, otherwise, I'm down to cutting words and sarcastic gestures. Ah, uh, well, I have a crowbar you could borrow. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean. Perhaps if I jam it in my accelerator pistol, it works as a harpoon gun. But but I think you are better with the, the shooting than mm -hmm. uh, I am. I am better with the thinking. I don't knock harsh language. Well, okay. Uh, hello? Hello, Shanaz. <laughs> How is things in the ship? Uh, they've made their way across to a stasis chamber and they're just cutting their way in. They okay. think they might have found an active stasis chamber and they're trying to find out if anybody's still alive in there. Oh, well, let's hope they haven't all gone nuts. Yeah, uh, we'd also eat, well, not to be harsh, but if any of them are alive, we become more outnumbered. He has a keen tactical brain, this one. Yeah, I mean, you know, not everyone you fly is really your friend and we've already sort of decided that they're definitely i mean our lack of survival won't bother them at all this is what i get for not traveling with family we, we don't have to let them back on the ship though well if they release more of their space trooper yeah i mean if they make it then... back to the ship before us it's a moot point uh what they're is the mad. verdict um, so they um, fire. Ma they use magne magnets, magnetic accelerated part bits. Okay, that's gonna work. That works yeah. fine underwater. I yeah, I was a part of the, the plan there is to use in space. Sorry, because we use them in yeah. a vacuum. Do you remember watching that program where they they show the stuntman firing in certain things on the water, like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I think basically, you... a pocket rail gun should be alright. Yeah, all right. I mean, I've gun. got no objections to having a working weapon, but you know, if. Okay, well, you know. I, I have the thermite lance, so I'm okay. I also am in the armored shell, and you are in the, well, the, the knitted suit. It is. It's, yes, my mother made this. It's lovely. 
Well, I, I never and, thought and I'd get a chance to use it either, but here we are. May all of the heralds bless her work. Very, your very needed. stitched together. Um, should yes. we give the crowbar to the... Can the, the probe, like, hit things with a crowbar? Has it got a, a Waldo arm or anything? Well, we have our, our two adorable companions as well. Maybe they are equipped. True, don't, true, true. Um, don't worry, the probe is hitting plenty. I'm not very good at driving. It's bouncing off of walls, ceilings. Good stuff you. with that. Do you know how much that costs? <laughs> Bunk. Oh, okay, oh. no, I've got it. <laughs> okay, okay. Shanaz, let me put it a different way. People will not want to watch the video if it makes them feel ill. So keep it steady, okay? Levels off. <laughs> Perfect. Gyroscopic level. Um, there we go. What? Yeah. Threat of a downvote? Adia exactly. and Kerr. Um, Kerr has um, uh, their own crowbar. Um, and Adia. I think we wave crowbars at each other. Yeah. Um, we bond in that moment. Is a nod. Um, Adia actually has an accelerator pistol. All right. So we have. Two ranged weapons, uh, burn people when you touch them with it. Weapon, mm -hmm. some sticks, metal, metal still, sticks, still sticks. Yeah. All right, sounds perfect. We'll yeah. throw the probe at them and run. So yeah, you. No. <laughs> so you open up. You can see into the hangar. Um, it, it looks empty, or at least whatever's been in there has been rolled around and mm. settled out of sight. Um, you can see the deck. I've got big headlamps on my exo shell. Yeah, you just, activate you those. Switch on the big lights. Yeah, do do that proper thing with a proper horror movie where one small area is very well lit and everything else becomes very dark. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, the contrast is just now. You can see nothing over there. Or there. Yeah. Oh, this is very <laughs> helpful. Oh, look, I've turned on the lights. Yes. All right. So, so scanning around the the um the hangar bay. Um, making your, your, do you, are you like, can I ask an out of character question? Yeah. Right. So we know that we've come here for the Emerald Disc. Mm -hmm. What did we tell Adia and Kirsch would come? Oh, you got Well, Kirsch stuff. still thinks that this is the engineering section. Yes. Okay. We really? thought we'd identified oh. the engineering section. That's rude. Adia knows that it's not the engineering section. Okay, so they think we're exploring in general and just looking for. I know we said they we're, know looking, that we're for looking for artifacts um, and memory data yeah. rather than artifacts. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because I was like, oh, yeah, that was the trade, wasn't it? They could have the artifacts, but we want the data. Well, mm -hmm. they want weapons and money, so. Well, yeah. And handlers. For their families. Yes. Oh, yeah. For, for their the, families. Uh, yeah, that's okay, cool. I just so... wanted to get it straight in my head what exactly we told the NPCs. I, I believe that the main bridge is, uh, I think, this way. And I'll point with a claw, little T Rex claw. I think it's this way. All right. So we we head into the hangar. Um, we move forwards. We breach entry, um, cross the boundary, and all that jive. Um, Yafar's uh, lights illuminating the, the room slightly. As you sort of scan around, everybody behave. I've just seen Pete in chat. Um, <laughs> um, as we scan around the room, um, we look about. We can see that, that it must have at some time been tumbled about because there's on one sort of edge of the room where all the uh, cargo or the boxes or everything that was would have been secured and fastened was all been moved to one side um, through, I guess, things deteriorating underwater, things, whatever might have happened in um, portal space, whatever happened to, to the Zephyria after it reappeared. Um, and it's all sort of crushed or pushed over to one side of the, the hangar bay. Okay, nobody touch anything. Let us just proceed cautiously. Uh, Shanaz, make sure you're well, getting a full 360. Could you just turn your light over to there so we can see what was in here? We don't have to go and touch it, but if it's a bunch of like APCs or rocket launchers, then at least you know it's like a military ship. Whereas if it's like no, it absolutely is a military ship. It's, okay, yeah, its spec fine. was well, the we military it was guard to be, but... the military guard for the rescue party of. Um, okay, that's cool. Yeah. 
just to keep them well, away from. It's okay, we will let the we'll let the lights play over. The ranger wants to make sure that there are really the things. Um, if the this thing explosive is very crates... delicately and precariously balanced mm. on a ledge. If too many people move too far forward. We, well, we're floating. If it is full of the water, yeah, then there mm. will be no change in the mass. I'm not talking about change in mass. I'm talking about change in center of mass. Oh, it should not be. We are not that heavy and we will just displace yeah. and we'll push yeah. backwards. Although, actually, do any of those crates look particularly heavy? Um, some of them look quite large, yeah. Yeah, drag okay, some backwards. Okay, crowbars out, people. Let's move the heavy crates to the back end of the cargo hangar. I mean, we should find something to roll them on. But yes, we could do that. And then maybe we can help with the center of balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that we don't weigh as I much as a ship. I will trust the combat dancer when it comes to balance. Sounds good. Yeah, we can move some stuff back. Do we find anything interesting while we're doing that? All right. Um, Do we find space manatees. Space monsters. Hopefully not. <gasps> space manatees. I know, yeah. I'm hoping for not space orcas. No, we find decaying explosives that are very unstable. Ah, okay. Well, never mind. Darkness point. Hmm? All right. So, um... Give me one of you. Give me a observation roll. Um, someone can assist. I have nothing in observation, and yes. I will be engaged in. I have eleven. Things. Yeah, eleven. Eleven. You've eleven. got the probe. So I'm on the probe. Yeah. Let's make sure you are looking around while you're recording um, everything. It makes sense, you know, catching everything on the camera. What sort of stuff mm. was on the Zephira? Two successes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so you you sort of scan around, you look, um, and and it's maybe because uh, you're taking some time, or you've got um, some, you know, Jafar Two is a very, very high tech kind of yeah. This thing's got like lidar and all kinds of stuff. What you realise is some of these, like, and it must have been the shadows and things that kind of obscured it before. Some of these boxes are not stacked or at rest in a manner they should be. Like, almost as if they're stacked on top of each other in a, in a stand, but on the wall, rather than on the floor. The gravity's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's... They no longer... It's unsettling. On Euclidean. Hmm. And perhaps it's because you can move Jafar 2 around and get good, and the LiDAR and that kind of stuff, you'd spend a moment. Ha! Huh. Looks like this room's been the other way up. Those boxes that are stacked on the wall are stacked on the wall like the wall was the floor. Oh, so the, uh, not just the center of gravity, but the gravity itself has been in a different plane. Or it rolled. That's so much less a romantic. It rolled in the throes of passion, clutched in an embrace with another ship. Okay, that's just a little bit too sexy you now. <laughs> <laughs> I said romantic, not erotic. You can hear the Skavarin. You can hear the Skavarin like muttering, um, clearly like like what? What is this? What? And Adia is like, no, it it's just. It's just a form of storytelling. It's just... When a legion ship and a squidly ship love each other very, very much, what? the gravity goes funny. No, no, there's no... Like, the gravity drives, there should be someone else. No, this, not, this is not how it happens. This oh, is... yes, you are actually engineer. So, please explain. Could uh, gravity shift in plane? What would take that? Um, and the, there's a click where Kirsch... Uh, yeah, Kirsch is talking to Adia. Like they, they click onto a private channel kind of thing. Because, um, and you can see, you can see her. She's like, you know, and Adia is like, that, that, that. Cause they're, and they're, they're working it out between them. Um, and, then, and then there's a click when they, they come back and goes, uh, change in um, physics. Yes, we could change physics and do this for you. Oh, easy then. Yes. Changing gravitational constants and um, 
uh, this to make this happen or magnets. But it I need to be fake. So is physics or is magnets? Which... Magnets of physics. Well, well no, okay. like okay. You, you'll be shush now. Like changing, changing how phys how gravity works, because gravity he here is working, but over there is different working. Okay, right, but then. we have. Yeah, okay, we should probably just move on. I'm very fascinated by the workings of the gravity in the ship uh, and what, what you were saying, but I think you were saying that something went wrong. On the way out, Jafar, we can throw something at the wall and see what happens to it. Like when we're safely at the exit, we can see. No, Jafar's throwing things at the wall now. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> just spins slowly, like. Through through the water like you know like it would, and then as it as it gets towards where the uh, the boxes are, it like accelerates like it would like as yeah. the, the kind of drag to a, a point of, of, and you hear Kesh go ah yes do it again where's things acceleration due to gravity <laughs> like ah yes I like ah good and he's like no <laughs> no Kurt, we probably shouldn't it's probably yeah let's leave that alone for now before we do can we can we leave this room please I don't I don't like it. Okay, I, so we I have most of the heavy things theory. towards the back, and yeah, hopefully I mean, we've distributed the gravity along the wall. To the center of gravity, although apparently gravity has gone wrong here. So let's just chuff on, as oh, they the say. left of gravity. We'll move everything and change the left of gravity. Okay. So we, we get to the other side of the hangar. Um, there is a door on there. Um, we take a, a time to uh, crowbar it open. It's a matter of using the, the exosuit, um, Silsilla with the crowbar, Ker, with Kirsch with her um, wrench and that kind of stuff. Um, as you're doing this, you realize that Kirsch is, is like very like mechanically engineer sort of gifted. Like they're like, ah, oh, no, I can wait. And they pull off panels and find stuff. And I, I guess Yusuf is a bit like, Oh, no, that's good. I like, yeah, I see what you're doing and that kind of stuff. Oh, no, I have technology, not engineering. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the same thing, really. Yeah, similar. Yeah. It's using machines and stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, the, the three engineers you have with you, with the help of Jafar's exosuit, um, the brute strength of the, the machine kind of thing, push this next door open. Um, I would like, as you enter into this corridor, um, you look down the corridor, you see it, it, it's very dark, very murky. We shine um, Jafar's torch around it. Um, I would like everybody to test empathy. Ooh. You do not have, or mystic don't, powers, if you have any. I do not see this going either well. Either of those are Jafar's strong points. I am rolling a whole two. Whoop! I'm running a whole four. Apparently, Jafar is basically. Even if I add them together, I still did not get a six. Would you like to push uh -huh. your roll? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Two nope. successes. None. Okay, non successes, I'm non successes. Oblivious. Um, let me just check for our NPCs. Um... I got two, but I don't know if I can roll because I'm not physically there if it's a mystic thing. Um. Actually, yeah, I don't think you, you would need to roll. Um, excellent. Because oh, not physically present. Yeah, okay. He was our saviour, the chosen one. Oh, no. But to Shinaz, all alone, as right. the cameras suddenly die. So, Shinaz... At the coffee machine. Shinaz, you watch. Um, you watch as as they sort of cross, maybe like on the rear camera if we sent you far too ahead, or you know, you're getting a good shot of them heading deeper into the um the ship sort of thing. You watch as they sort of float, drift into this tunnel, and then all of them sort of instinctively kind of pull themselves into a, a fetal position. Um there's nothing on audio um there's there's nothing to change but you you definitely hear like adia um 
maybe even Yusuf be like, oh, my head, make it stop. Um, like something is is loud and, and you know, the noise. Everybody, um, except Shanaz, loses a mind point. Ow. Hmm. And um, after after what, to those who uh, are experiencing, feels like a... <laughs> oh, God, I got three successes on a Mystic Powers roll. All right. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> I do like your reply there. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, unfortunately, um, you're not in the little box, so they don't mm -hmm. count. I, I I do make the rules. Sorry. Um, so so if, for for what feels like a lifetime to the folks who who hear it, um, this piercing sort of screaming almost song there's definitely a modulation like a, a a movement in pitch and that kind of stuff but it's so loud um it, it's deafening and painful um and eventually i mean i guess we could shanaz would have the like a timer like a, a roll on the on the, the screen it's probably only about 15 20 seconds of everybody sort of ah my head curled up in a ball um it, it sort of dissipates um, and you're confronted with, as you look down the corridor, now you've moved slightly into it, almost as if the corridor has been spun and twisted out, and the door at the other end is, an, is like a, a 45 degree angle to the 90, you know, the flat. Making sense? Mm -hmm. like strung out. Yeah, it's like a corkscrew. Yeah, and definitely, like a corkscrew, like, like the inside of a, like a barrel, like rifling kind yeah. of thing. Okay, something just went through my brain like a big drill, but now the passageway looks like a corkscrew. Was it like that when we came in? It was already, yeah, it was odd like that. Um, but as the, as you guys have sort of drifted more, you cast more of your light upon it. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, engineering folk, uh, the gravitational anomalies, the shear that you were discussing earlier, would that maybe manifest as like a corridor that gets twisted? um we'd all be guessing no one's like yes but also who knows uh, like also, ow very um, much so yeah it's like a pre-hangover i hope yeah like adia and yusuf and and Ker, kersh they're all sort of talking amongst themselves kind of thing perhaps there is an engineering chat on the on the thing like which to Okay, you can just listen in. Um, and you can see, like, some of them, like, looking at the walls, maybe using a smaller torch to kind of look. And it's like, like, uh, Adia's like, there's, there's no, um, there's not, not the sort of stress mark. Like, if you were to, to literally wrench this and twist it, there'd be, there'd be more damage to the walls, to the pipes. This is, um, yeah, like, literally, like, it's been, well, if I didn't know better, and K Kirsch goes, no, they're not made like this. This is not how they do. I, yeah, if, if I didn't know better, K I would say this is how it was constructed. No, it's not how, don't, Legion don't do this. Yeah, I know, they don't do, and they, they continue. They say that ships that are lost in portal space are subjected to strange and mysterious forces from the dark between the stars. Perhaps this is a manifestation of that mistreatment at the hands of sinister forces. Oh, okay. Thank you, voice who is not currently I feel down much here. I feel much better. Maybe it just that went... was nice. That was nice. Thank you. That's yeah. very useful. Okay, good. Does anyone else have goosebumps? Yeah, all, all of us. Okay, good. I just realized Maybe I've misplaced an tried NPC. To move in a few dimensions at once. But... How didn't break? I'm gonna go with that. Mm. Has been stretched like uh, the taffy, I believe you call it, yeah, and you um, know, reshaped like into new form. Put the ship on like a sock, and now it looks like this. The ship on like, like a sock. Like what? a chaussette. What? Yes, a chaussette. I guess maybe the fits me like a chaussure. What exactly. Yes. Oh, what? Um. Where did we leave Nadina? Does anybody remember? Is she on the ship no. with Shanaz? Or did she come down with yes. you? Yes. 
No, I think she stayed on the ship. Um, she wasn't very combat. What did we do with her? We... She is very techy. Did we certainly not try to separate her from her two goons. No, we definitely didn't send her with the goons. No. I don't remember what we... I don't think we did anything with her. I think that she might have been left behind almost by accident. Mm. Okay, all right. So the last time she spoke was to Shinaz, to be fair. <laughs> so this is what happens, right? Shinaz gives this spooky kind of darkness. <laughs> and the door to the bridge flies open like this <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> like out like the, the camera would cast it so there's like shadow and she mm. like sort of steps in and she's like I've got everything ready, Shinaz. Um when are we going? There's a brief moment of quiet on the microphone where Shanaz lets go of the button before screaming like a <laughs> Shanaz. Going, you're still here? Yes, I, I, I had a shower. I wanted to eat before we went diving. I thought you'd gone with them. I wonder why I couldn't see you on the camera. I, I missed it. How are they... And then she comes well, and just, come, come and see, come and see. She comes and sits down with you. She's like, oh, they're already, they're already in the Zephira. Yeah, Jafar has a drone called Jafar 2, and I've been piloting that around as they look around. There's some strange gravity anomalies that they're trying to justify away scientifically that frankly look like the work of the duck between the stars based on what i know well because i have zero skill in technology but a buttload of culture well okay so i know lots of stories and no actual truth excellent um nadine uh nadine is like oh I, should i should i go should i go and put on a, a suit and dive down mm -hmm. myself i could catch them up it, i'm not very good at diving it, but i've done yeah. i've done some drops before Probably not a great idea now. They've just had some kind of weird mental thing happen to them where they were all rolling around and shouting and screaming for a few seconds. And now they're in a corridor that's twisted. Do you know anything about the effect of portal space on craft that are overexposed? Um, she sits and she thinks for a moment. I could, I could make her. I don't think she knows, actually. Look at this. Isn't she like a data spider sort of person? Yeah. Mm. A quick bit of research. She she's like there's um I've tried getting some of the um the consortium's files on some of the ships that have been lost. But typically when ships are lost, they either spewed out totally destroyed or just disappear. Zafira is one of the few that we've actually located. It's why the... Speaking of which, your um, erstwhile companions have found a stasis chamber. Let me just check on what they're, they're up to, and I'll punch up their comm link. All right. You can hear, um, you can hear Dala and Farouk, um, and they're like, oh, God, why does it take so long? To... All right. Uh, is it pressurized? Do we need to, do we need to wear suits? And you can hear somebody in the background who's like, well, it's been disappeared in portals for God knows how long. My icons know how long. You want to breathe that? Uh, Farouk's like, is that bad? You know, that kind of stuff. Does that, what does that mean? Yeah, it's just I'll that. breathe it, bro. Yeah. Come on. Tot <laughs> totally got it kind of thing. Um, oh, bro. Um, and they are, they are just about to, like, um, head in. Um, they're making some last checks on, like, the, the scavengers, like making sure their exos are, are good and that kind of stuff. And have you charged up the, the portable batteries and, you know, have you got a, you know, that kind of stuff. You recharge them. Is that darkness between the stars got rechargeable batteries or do we plug it in? No, so for any terminals and stuff. Yep, yep. Just bang, bang, bang. Hello, Zafira. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yeah. You're talking to the ship now? I'm, I'm we are, we are in this. Well, it's worth a try. Hello. Oh, okay. Now in. Oh, the the uh, there is no like, <clears throat> no reply, no active comms within the ship other than your own. I mean, we presumably oh. have something to tell us if there was power. Um. With your lidar, radar, sonar. Oh uh, uh, well, uh, the electromagnetic. Oh, hang on, hang on. Shanaz, are you there? Yes. 
Hello, how are you? I'm fine. You didn't take Nadina with you. Uh, no, we thought she was with you. Oh, well, she is with me, but I thought okay, she was good. with you. Kind of spin round in the pod. No, 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 no. I know she's not with you because she's here, unless, never mind. Well, it's it's worth checking, actually, in my experience. Yeah, fair point. Uh, uh, does not appear to be here. It sounds Maybe. like the other party with the scavengers have just got through and are about to breach the stasis chamber. They're discussing whether or not you can breathe there that's been locked in portal oh, space well, for months should, at a time. You should let um, Dalo and Farouk breathe the air. I think they we're, would we're be... letting them do whatever they want. We're listening to them, but they're muted, so they can't hear us. Educational for them. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> uh, on uh, have you? You activated the uh, electromagnetic scanners on Jafar too. Do you know what? I'm going to hand this this thing over to Nadina. Oh, okay. Because this she actually good. has some technical skills and may be able to uncover more using the okay. And buttons. she she possibly want to do the you're all going to die because of the darkness between the stars thing. Don't worry, I can still did. do that for you. Oh no, it's I mean, fine. You can just shout over Please. This. Oh, no, you, you make sure you are doing all of the recording because we want this recorded for posterity. Yep. Uh, yep. And then it's not looting. I just thought what a plot twist it would be what if she was with us and with Shinaz. I've that only would, got four dark enough points. I've only got four. That would be interesting. <laughs> that would be a moment for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past. Coriolis. Uh, hello. Hello, Nadina. I mean, I would hope that the evil one was with you because there's more of you. Mm. But who knows? Hello, hello, Nadina, are you there? Yes, hello? yeah, Javai, is this, is this your recon drone? It's a good kit. Uh, are we? How oh, well? Uh, you buy it, like, secondhand or something? It's really good. No, it's, it's mine. Well, it's my second one, actually, twice Jafar 2. Oh, I thought you were Jafar 1. Aha, <laughs> that's very sweet of you to say so. Uh, um, yeah, no, I can, I can do this. This is a really good kit. And she... Like, Shanaz, you watch her and she's like pressing buttons and doing stuff. People on the other other end see like tiny lights come up. Maybe like an antenna comes out. And, like, oh, so this is better. Thank you. This it is so much more useful. Yeah, it is a uh, could you roll. change the chroma to something more suitable for underwater? That would be nice. Um, she makes it yellow. Okay, that's nice. That's but you can see it now. You can see where it is. Okay, that's good. Okay, make sure you're still doing the recording though because Shanaz needs to. Um, Record for posterity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will. Um, do you want audio as well? I mean, oh, yes. You could do oh, a voiceover, Shinaz. Don't worry. I'll, I'll pass it later. I did. Shinaz will fix it in post. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, Narrate over the screaming. No, the screaming we keep. Narrate oh. over the boring conversation. Yeah, the, the screaming is in the trailer at the start, sure. Yeah, we don't talk about carrying boxes, but when they're screaming and running, we okay. follow that. And maybe it's a gravitational conversation, maybe? Maybe not. The interesting bits. Oh, of <laughs> course, yes. And the portentous, ooh, dark between the stars. Bom, bom, bom. So Nadina goes activating um, uh, the EMP scanner. Or whatever, the, the yeah. Mm. Well, preferably not that. Please don't do that. That would <laughs> shut down the EXO shell. Nadina um, hasn't drank a can of beer, so she's fine. Oh, nailed. Um, okay, no, no, the electromagnetic. We want to see if there is any power in the ship. Uh, our pilot captain is uh, concerned. All right, so... You, oh, no, uh, if there's power, we should go there, is what I'm thinking. So what does it have? What it has, is... like, an observ observation of, like... Plus three. Is it the person's skill plus three that how it works? Yeah. So on top of whatever they've already got, they yeah. get plus three. So she she spends a moment. You see the thing. It does a little bit of like a spin or a you know. There's definitely like stuff happening. Um, there's a weight, and she's like, um, okay, all right, yeah. Um, if you continue um, ahead, there is a. There is a power. Something's still got power in there. I suspect it would be the data center on the bridge um, where they keep the emerald disk. That's got to have... Well, it doesn't need to. It can, And she goes, and Kirsch kind of chimes in. Ah, yes, it's going to be... Like, and, and Adia's like, no, we don't We don't need to talk about the how many amps it needs. Shush, shush. Go to the to engineering this. channel. I'll listen, kind of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, engineering sidebar, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, up ahead. Um... It can be saved for the commentary track for those that would like to know more about the engineering. Oh, yeah. This is okay. Kickstart it. You get the commentary track. If this was a Kickstarter, Kirsch would be the narrator as a stretch goal by a country <laughs> now. <laughs> the only thing is you couldn't tell Kirsch that they were the, they were going to no. be narrating it or they'd get it completely wrong. Oh, absolutely. I am reading from this page of words. Please show me the card. I can't know. Yes. Uh, uh, what? Mm. We went to ship and it was it wet. Get very wet, very. But, but I wore a suit, so I was dry. We just have to record Kirsch and then like pick out the best bits, yeah, yeah. like um, a Kirsch reel. Yeah. So, so Nadina's like, um, it's about um, end of this corridor, thirty meters. Uh, if we look at the, and she, she's like, uh, on the map, that should take you to the bridge. Um, the bridge could have an airlock if it's if it's it should be a sealed unit. They normally like it's the the place where you you protect it. they're protected the most on legion ships inside the bridge should be the data center and i reckon that's what's got the power okay cool. all right pilot captain you're up yeah yeah okay. into the darkness thank you for phrasing like that i i'll nod to adia and kirsch and we'll start heading down there and yusuf and you sorry yes yusuf i yeah, it, yeah, because he's not here. I can mentally sort of keep him out. But yeah, so engineering crew lit up by Jafar will head down. All right. I'm providing support. Um, so we head Moral? to the end of the corridor. Emotional? No, mostly light. Okay, so yeah. We head to the end of the Physics. corridor. We spend some time um, opening the, the doors. Um, Do you need a big torch? Yeah, no, I, I'd be a torch. curious, like, does the door feel a different temperature? If I bang it with a crowbar, it still feels as, like, as tensile and same sort of integrity as I think it should have? Um, so you're in your knitted suit. I am indeed. Which yes. kind of obscures your your stuff, uh, obscures your stances. Um, but it doesn't, like... You know, tong, tong, it doesn't sound different. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, Jafar 2 is not saying, no, there's a fire over there or something, you know, that kind of sentence, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I imagine Jafar 2 has been useful for before now. Mm. Things are hot or very cold on the other side. It's not giving out fire, any... Fire, toxin, lack of oxygen, too yeah. much oxygen, all of these things. Uh, so still, why are you banging the door? Well, engineer's curiosity. I got the maintenance. Yes, it's very good. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's maintenance. You're trying to open the door. Okay, I can maybe help with the claws. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can reinsert the crowbars at like the top and the bottom to lever it open. Also, I think there's a handle yeah, on the side. We could just do it that way. Uh, Missed the handle entirely. I mean, it's it's not You've quite so manly, and I feel so maybe to. not that. I don't mind. You know, it's all for the video reels, so, you know. What awaits us outside? Um, so it opens up. Um, it's still submerged. You can see what looks to be, and it's in line with what you're, you're sort of standing on. Um, so either it's twisted or there is some sort of strange reality twist going on because it doesn't look like the... From when you were descending, like the ge geometry, it doesn't look like the ship mm -hmm. was twisted. So something funky is going on here when you stop to think about it. Um, but you walk, can walk straight out into a corridor and you can still see like the the signs and stuff. Like it, it's pointing, you know, galley one way and uh, hangar two or something the other way. Um... I'm sure in portal stuff isn't the science. So I imagine Silsilla wouldn't know anything about it to speculate. Um, but I'm wondering if it's somehow still inside the portal as well as being here. Stasis holds seven, you know, in one direction. That is um, a terrifying thought. Please don't say that out loud. And then, as you look the, to the way it's pointing to the other hangar hanger thing, you can see up on the ceiling like there's a, a number of little um, glow globes, sugar globes, sort of stuck on the you know, bumping up against the fire. Oh, can I can I grab one of those while yeah. we're here? Little, yeah. and they're much smaller than than 
you've ever seen. Like normally they're probably about a foot across, mm. like a big things. And it's really tiny. It's like could fit in the palm of your, you could wrap your hand around it. Oh. Oh. Uh, Nadina, Nadina, are you getting this? Are you getting the occurrence of the tiny sugar globes? Very uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, Shanaz has got it. Like <laughs> Is it like, you as well, you, I think. You, you, have you got it? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting I'm it, Jafar. I'm going to ca catch a couple and put them in my cargo patches. Okay, we'll we'll get some good shots. And the little Jafar too, like around. Okay, it's not super exciting, but okay. Sure, my mother like put pockets in. <laughs> we'll take yeah, little stream of them. You got a hood. Right, you got just... Mittens on strings. Oh, bless. On strings. <laughs> got his name written on his back as well. It's the same color though. You can't see it because it's just in the wall. Sure. All right then. Did you say there's doors on the ceiling? No, no. They're where they should be. Everything right. is where they should be. Oh, okay, mm. cool. There was the little sugar globes. They, they were they floating on the ceiling. Tiny yes. Sugar globes. Um, I collected a few and put them in my cargo nets. Um, you can see, like, um, there is. So we've got directions, walls, and uh, signs and directions to like cantina, stasis holds, cargo holds, that kind of stuff. And then there is almost like a. It's like a three-way corridor. You got stuff on one way, stuff on the other way. Straight ahead, you can see a huge honking airlock with bridge authorized access only kind of thing. Okay, is there any sort of atmospheric readout on that particular honking door? Um, it does say, um, it does look like you, you peer through this pressurized, like the inside of the airlock, there is nothing. It's a there's an airlock there. Close. Oh, okay. So we can cycle through the airlock. We would not be changing the pressure if we open this door. No. No. You'd be okay. able to go uh, in, and cycle it. Uh, Kirsch is like, uh, what? What do we use to to power? It doesn't look like there's much power. Uh, power in my suit. But what if your suit was stop? Then you stop. Well, uh, yes, but it's for discovery and science, so... Hmm? Okay. You can Could do that. Do not use your, like, your torch will have some kind of power supply. That might be more oh, it's suitable. All, it's all part of the exoshell, Oh, it's shell, not something really. you hold. It's actually, like, oh, attached. Yeah, big headlamps. Okay. All right. I'm going to reverse spin the shell round. Okay. okay, well, have free with the battery. Don't, please, I mean, if you cannot drain it, then don't. Okay. I have a feeling we might need to live in a hurry. Um, sure. Would someone, let's see how, let's see how long and how much of, um, if our suit we use up. I, I'm sure um, Kirsch is probably the best then. So. Tech three. I can help with science, but not tech. Uh, Kirsch has tech eight. Oh, sorry. Is that adding the other stuff? Like, Kirsch is yeah. going to roll seven, seven. Eight, eight dice. He's um, better than me. Okay. Um, so does somebody else want to roll that rather than me? I Sure. Ben, do you want to do it? Does he get one um, for me helping? Yeah, he can have one for you helping. He can yeah. have another one for um, Yusuf helping. So, uh, mighty ten dice. Uh, three successes on ten dice. Nice critical right. success. So yeah, it uses up like a fraction of um, Jafar's exosuit uses up, um, and it doesn't take take that long. While you're all sort of there kicking heels, um, there's time to to sort of Chinaz maybe drifts over and listens in on on what's going Listen on. Listening on the others, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, you can hear them. They're like, they're. Can we revive them? What what would it take to to run that cycle? What would it? Can you? Oi! And he probably uses some sort of expletive because you know he's not particularly refined. Um, come over here, plug that thing in here, and and you can hear a scavenger be like, no, no, look, come and look, come and look. And then there is um, like Dala's voice who who's like, the fuck did that? What? But it. That's. Farouk, come here. Come here, back to back, mate. What's what's something? 
and and you can hear like all of a sudden something screams someone screams like oh um on me on you know and the, and it all starts and the things are are getting a little bit spooky um after a few moments maybe at the same time as as like uh, yusuf is is like all right let's run the airlock you can hear dala and farouk like all right, short bursts, that kind of... It's definitely an alien-style scenario. Things are getting kinetic. Yes, definitely kinetic. Good way to describe it. And Nadina is like, I, oh, I wish we had cameras on them. What's going on? Can I... Should they I... have cameras on their suits. Can you patch in? Um, well, d yeah. Um, give, me, give me a... She gets some dice out and tries. Um, I can only get dollars, um, and you can see like wherever the camera would be mounted. It's quite dark in there. The only light is coming from like a couple of um, scavenger sort of tripod style things. Um, looks like. can see like yeah. it looks all grainy black and white one of the stasis beds is lit up from inside you've got a couple of scavengers um folks and they're crouching down you can see they've also got like um accelerator pistols or um carbine kind of rifles um can't see uh farouk because obviously they're behind dala um and then, and then there's a scream from further in the in the module. Something shouts. Something. Um, uh, and then it's followed by, um, followed by like a, a strange. Um, it's like a, a chorus style bat scream like multiple sort of yeah, noises yeah, like a, a cacophony yeah space bat angel dragon yes yeah, space bat angel dragon um that sounds like a band i would listen to. they're from kua they haven't got a big following outside of the monolith it's avant-garde be... um but yeah there's this this strange noise and you see like the camera sort of whip around to another part of the the um the, the the module um more screaming Farouk is like the fuck is going on Dala what what is it it's, what the fuck and then there's like a burst of things she, I saw something and Dala's like calm down let's check this out remember we need to conserve rounds we're not we're not running on uh not gonna get a resupply out here kind of let's me and you, buddy, we're going to get out of this again. Don't panic. What's fucking going on? And then there's shooting. and sh One of the scavengers starts shooting. Nadina's like, should I? What could we do? Uh, um, there's nothing we can do. We can just watch. There is um, screaming and shouting. And then um, in that sort of wonderful way of horror movies, it sort of pans around. And you just see, like, moving past the camera, um, this this sort of leathery kind of wing with a claw or something. Right, space bat, whatever dragon. Space dragon, spider death. Um, and yeah, Dala sort of shoots and, and screams. Um, there is all kinds of... And then suddenly, like, the fuck is it gone, Dala? What is it going to do? What the fuck? I've never... What is it? And she, you can hear them. They're both like, all right, and... If this was aliens, there would be heart monitors and that kind of stuff mm -hmm. going on. Um, we're not playing Coriolis, so it's very different, honestly. Um, um, screaming, shouting. There is um, the death screams of another scavenger. And then um, you hear like Dala being like, all right, we're fucking getting out of here. Fuck this shit. I don't care if there's other guys alive in here. We're going. Come on, Farouk, we're moving, moving, moving. Um, and they're, they're back. You see, like, the camera sort of on the move on the back. Um, um, 
it goes like the screaming and the shouting from in the in the capsule is goes quiet for a moment and then and then you can hear the breathing of of the soldiers sort of thing um and then Starla's goes buddy i'm gonna start shooting i'm gonna fucking start running do you understand and then just in the in the view you see like this face it's not a human face it's like a big horrible kind of beak hundreds of teeth it's almost crawling forward you know like how you see um pterodactyls move uh, when they're mm -hmm. on the ground kind of crawling forward in that kind of stuff um yeah a little bit like pitch black yeah something like that and it crawls moving forward slowly on that and sh you hear dala being like you need to move when i say okay ready and and Farouk's like oh fuck no no way i could no listen to your superior officer i'm gonna make you move now when i shan't move you move and then and then it's like three two one and she just like offload he starts shooting going crazy this thing charges towards you the camera it gets all a little bit fuzzy and then you just hear gunshots um screeching definitely the sound of something slamming like a door or something slamming um and then it goes still and pitch black and then for a moment the camera is camera gets flung up into the air like it's thrown and it spins around you can see the bed come kind of like the stasis bed kind of go through the shot um mess everywhere and it hits the floor and you just see something like kick it again like a claw or something knock camera and it skids into the side of the room it's cassowaries because that was genuinely scary in a radio an update through to jafar and silsila's party then hello are you doing it to everybody no, I'm just going to do it to the two of them on a, a closed okay. signal. Hello. Um, some news from the other party. Oh, okay. It's not good news. Oh, they found there soldiers? was something on the ship with them. Well, when you say something, what are we talking? Well, you'll have to see the camera footage for yourself to really believe it. But it looks like Dala is dead. Oh. Farouk, we don't know. Oh, this but is. Dala and at least some of the scavengers are dead. We don't know how many of the others have managed to get out. Or is whatever killed them contained on that? Again, of... can't tell. The only camera we have access to is Dala's camera, and that's pointing up at the ceiling in a room at the minute. Okay. Suggesting so that Dala's get... flat on his back then? Like, is the camera shoulder mounted or chest mounted? Um, I imagine they're probably shoulder mounted. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how is Nadine I would say get this? get done what you need to get done and get back. I'll deal with that. Okay, I'm just gonna text. I'm not gonna do this in voice. I'm gonna go. What what is Nadina's status? Um, she sat like what? Yeah, pretty much like. I'm going to tend to her briefly then. Uh, Nadina, Nadina. That, that, that. I know. And it. And it, you, you're in a state of shock. You need to come down. We need to get you a drink. Um, but. Some drugs, maybe. <laughs> okay. But you need to settle down because we, we've got to complete what we're doing and get our team back here because we don't know where Farouk is or if Farouk is. What if there's one inside the Zephira? There is one inside the Zephira. We just don't know which parts. I've told them what has no, happened. No, no, with, with, with Jafar and, and, and everyone. I, they know to look out. They're, that's also why we, we need you on, on the drone. You're much more skilled. You'll be able to see it coming long before anything does. They'll have more warning. Okay. Remember, Dala and Farouk just went charging in, guns blazing, punching their way through everything. We can think our way through this. We it's can be smart. Much not our style. Hey, 
So get back on the console. I'm going to go and get you something. Um, do you have command as a skill? In us? I do, actually. Make a command roll. And it is based off of empathy, which I am very, very good at. Now, we've established... Oh, no, that's manipulate. That's manipulate. That's manipulate. Command is okay. a thingy skill in it there. You must have points in it, skill. Yeah, it's yeah. a... Come over the call, advanced. Advanced skills, yeah. Advanced yeah. skills, yeah. I have one success. Excellent. Um, so she's a bit shaky. Um, she probably does need some cohol or drugs or something to just, you know, keep her... Yeah, I think, um, I think a, a bit of um, Jafar's secret stash of brandy. What? Brandy is very, very old. Will people stop drinking all of my money? So well, the only reason brandy I know it exists currency? is because I've done a complete psychological profile of you. Very expensive brandy. Um, I, I would like to text Shinaz and see, are you comfortable um, orienting the ship towards whatever section Dala and Farouk went to and getting the ship to aim the accelerator cannon for you? You don't have to fire it, but if it starts moving, you might want to. I'll, I'll talk to Nadina and see what we can arrange. The thing about that, though, is they were, like, you, you dropped them off and there was, like, an hour trip. Yeah, they've been gone for ages, so... Because you, you're, really you're literally away. on a moon, and they're out in, mm. in I, orbit. That's fine, no worries. No so, worries. so you're very welcome to send Shinaz, and, and the comms would probably still be valid. There maybe it'd be a bit of lag on Jafar, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, an hour's... Yeah. 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 But yeah no, that's harder fine. for us to get off the moon. Yes. That, yeah, we just need to hurry. I was just like, if that starts moving towards us, we should it. Yeah. Cool. Or we should so just, keep just get done what it. you need to get done and get back. Okay, quick what, what are we looking up for? Emerald what? discs. You go to the data disc, okay. center. Nothing else? Nothing that mm. might eat our We should our check faces. out the, the globes. That's weird. Okay, I'm going yeah, to bring some of those back with us. If you want to know what us. the danger that you're looking out for is, it's got leathery skin, like wings, many, many teeth, sounds a bit like a bat, but is several times larger, uh, sharp teeth, and can take down a fully armed and armoured soldier okay. without any difficulty, and a number of scavengers as well. Or a deadly space bat. Okay. Would you like to make a culture roll, Shanaz? I absolutely would love to make a culture yeah, okay. roll. I'd like to think you've heard of this. I mean, if he hasn't, that's kind of worse because it's new. She. If she has She, sorry. She. She. she My apologies. Yes. If Shanaz has not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, two successes on knowing what it is. All right. Um... All right, um, uh, Hagama Fatu, one of the famous pro prophets um, and mnemonic, described a beast, not quite a raven, nor a mole, nor a vulture, nor a bug, nor a bat, um, nor a decaying corpse, uh, but something in between all of the above, a flying lizard-like creature that is almost one with the darkness, uh, known as a bayara. These things have um, uh, live in the darkness of space, drawn to places where the darkness is particularly thick and permanent. Um, folk tales describe how lost prophets and dark-bound people can ride the Bayara through the cold, dark, black picture. Yes, it looks like oh, a... Oh, it's a space bat dragon. A yes. What page is it on? It is on, uh, of the core book, 326. <laughs> just so I can get a better look at okay. it. Okay, yeah, so to defeat it, we just need a saddle and a harness. Oh, yeah, that's that's not friendly. Yeah. No. Um, but... It might, might just be misunderstood. But, you know, the things you've seen, the sounds... The, the stuff from this... this um, so I will relay that to Jafar then. Jafar... Yeah. 
What? It, it may be Biara. The mythical space bat dragon. Yes. The one that you can ride through the darkness? No, do not try to ride it. You've you've read Hagama for two. Oh, not for a little while. But yes, yes, but but he describes it. Okay. Or do you have any suggestions? Should we find ourselves facing one apart from scream and die? Run. Mm. Run. Okay. It can fly and is one with the darkness. Light is your friend. Oh, well, I have the lights. Okay. Stay with the light. Stay with the light. Okay. Or run. Okay. I will uh, let everyone know that everything is fine. <laughs> and that yeah. if we see anything, they should shine a light on it because knowledge is the best weapon. Hmm? I look okay. down at my accelerator pistol and sort of shrug. Mm. And with that, the um, airlock onto the bridge finishes cycling. The doors open, and instead of a rush of water, you're greeted with air. We should. Do we need to unplug Jafar? Has he got to stay on the other side? He's in an exoshell. He can move around. He's very clunky. He's powering it. We I can unplug it. The, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. My, my question is: If we unplug him, will it work? Um, because otherwise we're stuck on the inside of an airlock. So, so I guess Yusuf and and um, I, I literally would... is based off the space bat angel dragon mm -hmm. from the Iron Man. Well, there you go. See, horrible Becky thing. So, so not. Yusuf and and Kirsch and Adia um, think well. There's a power source in the data center, and once we've got the crystal out, we could probably just reroute some of that power to the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the... cool. I just don't want to. Okay, like... yes, I love the we word probably inside, for being sealed in a room with it runs out possibly power. a space bat. So it was quite good with tech. He's got a three on tech. Yeah. Okay. So I would be aware that we don't want to trap ourselves by removing our power source while getting into the thing that needs power source to open. Mm hmm. Yeah, we could use it as yeah, we could probably help and divert power and. There'll be some cables we can rip out. Okay. Plug stuff in. I mean, it'd never pass, like, an inspection or yep. anything. I don't think I've explained myself very well. It's okay. What do you, what do you, you mean? Um, so in order to make it work, mm -hmm. we had to plug Jafar into it. Yeah. We're about to unplug Jafar and then get into it and press all the buttons, at do which you... point it has no power source. So it's Jafar done. Jafar not plugged in. The door is open into the bridge. Oh, I thought it was no luck, so we had to get into the middle bit and then cycle that door to open that door. Yeah, we did that. We did that while right, okay. I whilst that entirely. My apologies for not being the camera was looking at other people die. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was... It was done off I was camera. Too busy being horrified by the weird yeah, space by angel yeah. dragon Othra. So yes, I'm cool now. Thank you for explaining that in like, you know, I'm five. Yeah. Um so, okay, and I suppose if need be, you can always just plug the extra shell back in. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're not stuck in the middle. We're on the other side. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah we're, we're on the bridge. Cool. All right. What do we see? Do we know what green discs look like or emerald discs look like and where they would be? Is that a common knowledge thing? Um. So the emerald disc is essentially the black box of yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. ship. Um, I suppose I would know then. Yeah, you would know. And, and it's stored in the data vault. Like, because it collects everything that the ship, literally everything that the ship does, mm -hmm. runs through the data vault, and a certain length of time is sort of cached on the, the emerald disk. Um, and then it's got a power supply that will keep it going, and then it has its own power supply for when the main power supply is gone. It's in the data vault, which you can see, like the bridge is this sort of arrow kind of spear head formation. Um, you're at the very point at the top of the bridge and on a, like a raised gantry kind of over it. And a little bit like on the Death Star, like everybody else would be down. Um, there is a, um, plank, a, a, a walkway across the middle right to where you can see the big chair, as it's probably called, like in Star Trek. 
the big chair or or at least the place where vader would stand and look down upon everybody and behind there is another sort of pointy structure which is like a mini arrowhead inside the arrowhead that's the data vault okay. and and nadina would be like that's the data vault at the back there um kind of thing um as you kind of look down into the pit where where the folks were, you can see that one side has got um, like five or six chairs on, um, and then the other side has uh, many more, like many more. Um, our resident nerd, um, like narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot. There's a lot of that. Uh, our resident, um, I've devoured all the technical specs of everything, nerd. Um, Gavarin uh, Gersh goes, ah, this is where they do the shooting and this is where they do the, like, less seats for the sensing and the, the technical, and this is all the shooty men. Or girls, or not girls, and not the peoples. Okay, Sorry. it's very technical. Thank you very much. I don't know. <laughs> it just starts whittering to Adia. Um, so yeah, one side is for all the gunners and the the um, flight control kind of stuff. The other side is like the sensors and the science, which you can see the Legion is not overly, overly censored. Like they probably have detect where people are and target lock them mm -hmm. sensors rather than... This, this is a, such a terrible shame. It shows the fault in the philosophy, I think, of the Legion, that they are not out to uh, observe and understand. They are much more interested in the blowing of the up. Shock and awe. Mm. So, dead the vault. Mm -hmm. What kind of skills do you need to get in it? A little bit of technology, maybe a little bit of data, Jim. Definitely good. Half that. Uh, I could just cut through the wall. Oh. I suspect we need it intact. The, no, the emerald <clears throat> disc itself should be uh, very robust. I yeah, imagine. I was wondering if there were fail safes or anything like that, but I suppose it's not really that. It's not a secret, is it? No, it's not a secret, and it, there wouldn't be too many fails because they want people to be able to get there. Yeah. And if somebody's gotten this far, theoretically, they've gone through all the legionnaires on board the ship yeah. and everything. Yeah. So there's a lot there's of folks who are probably. Friendly. Does our Skivarin friend have any data gin rolls? Ah, uh, no, it's what um, Adia do. Adia does that. Okay, okay. And Adia nods like, yeah, I, 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 you know, I could, I could. Yeah, it, it would be better to do this, I think, the subtle way rather mm -hmm. than the other way. Okay. All right. um, Adia will roll eight dice if you let them do it. Cool. And I don't need to roll any dice, then he just rolls his own. Uh -huh. like I don't need to uh, do yeah. anything tech. I have a, well, Jafar has a security tablet that's meant to be able to sort of cut through ice. Oh, uh, okay. So it'd give a boost I kind of thing. This would be of use. Um, um, Adia will take the, take the security tablet. Okay. Uh, if you want, give, you, give, him, uh, give them a plus two. Thank you. Don't tell anyone that. Uh, and he looks at you. He's like, "This is this is dodgy tech." Do you get this? Do you get this in one of the bazaar on Coriolis? Mm. I know. I, I have made some colourful friends. Okay. Okay. Pictures of a cousin like this on it. It's only twelve. <laughs> no, she's older than twelve. Oh, older than twelve. Oh, At least older fourteen. Than 12. Fourteen, sixteen, definitely. Claims to be sixteen. Yeah, claims. <laughs> Um, so I was yeah, just going to hack a kid. Yeah, it's the, no, it's social media kid and pilot, apparently. Pilot, apparently. So, Adia, um, we'll take that unless you want to you wanna do it. Not, I mean, I roll seven dice and he rolls eight, mm -hmm. so he's better off doing it. <clears throat> okay. So, do you want to roll ten dice for them then rather than me rolling? Sure, Adun, do you want to roll five and I'll roll five? Uh, not the way I'm rolling, no. Okay, no worries then. Uh, that's n uh, that's only five dice, but there was no successes there. All right. Holy crap, I rolled ten dice and no successes. I guess 
uh, are they, is, he, is he allowed to push it? Or are we just like, you know, reduced to brute force? Um, yeah, okay if not. They, can, they can push the roll. It will give me, because it's, it's for you. Mm -hmm. It'll give me a darkness point. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, perhaps someone other than me. How can you roll 10 dice and get me? Like, oh, it's very easy. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, I'll roll. <laughs> I don't want to. So, so I guess, like, narratively, there's a moment where Adia turns to Kirsch and is like, just back off. Stop putting your cl Leave me. And just, like, pushes them back a bit, pushes her away. Um, Jafar might lean forward and just turn on the security tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Put well, the finger biometrics yeah. in. Yeah. Face, look at this. Open the tabula. Um <sighs> Okay, here I go again. No successes. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, two. Excellent. Okay. Two. You. Phew. Did it's you give me so many dice for? Pardon? Is your darkness so done few up? Sixes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. So we're only on five darkness. Only on five darkness. We are slacking. What is going on? Yeah, that's because Millie spent one. Spent some. All right. Some. Spent some. It went down. It's gone back up. Gave it back. All right. So so there's a little while. There is some um, swearing. Um, there's a look at the tabula, show the face ID kind of thing. So let, let, plug it in. We push a cigar away. Go and look at a conduit or something. Go away. Um, yeah. And eventually, the door to the data vault opens. Do things look intact? It looks remarkably intact in here. Oh, that's good. I was worried it was going to be like 45 degrees and the discs were kind of like folded in half, but somehow still whole. <laughs> That'd be like the ultimate fuck you, wouldn't it? Well, technically it's fine, but it's also in the shape of a Mobius strip and isn't fitting into any player ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you can see, um, so the emerald disc, um, it's this bright green box. It has its own sort of screen integrated it still has like stuff flashing up on the the um the screen it's probably um six inches square and it's almost like i guess the shot would be kind of like indiana jones style spotlight on it as things twinkle around when i pick it up we have to run away from the boulder <laughs> Uh, but yeah the emerald disc is there and you maybe um shinaz like to um nadina is like oh yes oh that must have such what does it say how big is it it's about half a foot square cube is there some kind of compartment in jafar too we can put it in maybe not that big but you but could i do have a marsupial pouch on my wetsuit all right i have i'm sorry what the... I mean, you can do that if you really want. I have the cargo nets on the exo shell. Are they, are they waterproof is why I was asking about your fire too. No, like the emerald disc is a black oh, box. It's, yeah, it's fine. Okay, no worries. Oh, it, I, I didn't want to get out and it's like, well, it was fine until you dragged it through. The emerald disc and is a black box. And then it explodes. Yes. Boom, you ruined it. Broke. Um, cool, okay. Um... Who's going to just make the whole ship out of that stuff? Mm -hmm. It'd be insanely like expensive. Dolls. Question has been asked. Insanely expensive. All right, so you, you make your way forward. Who goes and gets it? Anybody? Me. All right. We might have to fight you for the Oh, it's a historical artifact. Excuse me. Sorry, get out of the way. It's a tech thing. It's not a historical artifact. Oh, but it contains such information of such places within the dark between the stars. I mean, so I guess of still, still hasn't Manor thought about that. Experience. It's just worth money. Well, it's worth money, whichever one of us gets to it first. But um, me. Me. I mean, I'm next to it. So, okay. so you can see on I the screen. I don't mind sharing, don't get me wrong. You can see on the integrated right, screen, the one, two, three, the last four sort of log entries still, not log entries, but, you know. Yeah, the ones put, that you've put on the screen. Yeah, four chat, so. data kind of entries on it. Um, the first one is portal entry protocol initialized, approach vector confirmed and locked, stasis units activated, defensive exit protocols activated, central systems entering transitive standby, jumping in three, two, one. And then it's almost like 
an hour later um the next one is noted but it says warning anomaly on entry unidentified sensor object activating pattern analysis five unidentified objects inbound hull breach in sector 12 thrusters are offline stasis chambers are offline Portal space fluctuations, unstable field patterns, decompressions in sections 3, 6, 8, 19. Reactor spike. The next one is um, activating emergency protocols, firing aft probes, launching aft probes 1, 3, and 5. Five unidentified objects inbound, main anomaly on collision course. Full breach and decompression in sectors 1, 5, 17, and 20. Escape pod service modules, Westman systems, cabins, bow stasis chamber. All offline. The last entry goes decompression on bridge and in central shaft, activating ED fields, activating defensive maneuvers, portal exit prioritized, data stump, data dump stored, raw anomaly analysis data stored, preparing to launch further probes, anomaly within critical distance, collision confirmed, structural collapse in hangar and central shaft, probes two and four dis destroyed, emergency protocols offline, central systems offline. Um, further data and then it's got like more stuff terrible things yeah do you think the anomalies are the the fat spec dragons it spoke of five anomalies but also one anomaly one big one five small just bring it back to the ship and yeah. we can puzzle it out later. no no let us explore why we are here in the very dangerous place I suspect the five are maybe the evil space bat dragon things. Mm -hmm. I believe the same, yes. Well, and if that's the case, are, then uh... there are less than five large pieces of the ship. So, mm. um, could we? Could you? Yeah, command and control. If you could pull up the the holographic model of the Zephyra and plot on uh, those sections that were recorded in the log. Sections one and three and all of the others. It's the and... ones that were penetrated by the invaders. Mm. We don't and... know that they were yet. Well, we know that there was decompression there. Yes. We know there was decompression and we know that they were things inbound. The ship. Okay, let's not yeah. argue about Do you want to catch it and bring it back? No, I want Lord, to avoid no. it. I mean, we, you have to assume it may have moved as well, sadly, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, one it's a hunter. Okay. Is there a better way we can leave than the way we came in? Um, Nadine is like, I I'm just doing a lot of things, uh, Jafar. Just, just give me two moments. Let me, um, okay, all right, okay. I need a structural analysis of the bridge just as fast as you can. Um, so, so Shinaz, you see a sort of like, um, and, and there's a bit where she puts some headphones on and listens back to, the, to whatever the readout was kind of thing, what it was... Um, and she she's plugging stuff in you see like sections change color she's like um okay i think some of the breaches match um some of the the damage and st things you, you've seen on the way down um the um the main anomaly the the main collision course i don't mean to alarm you but i think it's where those Sugar globes are coming from. It's in that, that other hangar. I don't think I don't think the main anomaly was a monster. Unless the monsters make sugar globes? Well the sugar know. globes are only generally found on Kua. Hmm. Mm hmm What else is found on Kua? But potentially that means that there is a space link between Kua and this place right now. Or there is also something on Kua that is also here. What, like a short point-to-point -point portal? No, I'm, I'm not a portal physicist. Well, that's what Shanaz is suggesting, but I think, well, yeah, that would be exciting. Portals I'm use very the much... suns to gain power. Huh? Maybe this is our small portal. Okay, so this would be in which cargo hold, and how do we get there? Um. Okay. When you came in through. No, it's the next one over. Oh, oh next one over. Sorry. So back out the bridge. Um, and she's doing that thing where you you like look around rather than moving the map, even though it's a three D. She's like, all right, yeah. back out the bridge. 
um, make a left, follow it around um, to the second corridor, make a right, and I don't think it should be damaged. You should be able to get straight ahead. You might have to get through a bulkhead, a, you know, a, a blast door, and there should be the, the, the other hangar there. Okay. Well, uh, hello, engineering buddies. Can you get the door working again without plugging me in? Uh, Yusuf looks around, and you can see um, um, Kirsch and uh, Adia. They're... Um, They've obviously got their own kind of cargo net sign and stuff, and they're they're literally unbolting like computers and terminals from the target in kind of stuff. And Kirsch is like, um, just we we came to get stuff, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, just can we get stuff and then go? Well, uh, and he's yeah. like, yeah, you know, yeah. Is there a weapons locker on the bridge? Because oh. there should be. It probably is, yeah. It'd be somewhere on the, the captain's platform. Right, getting into the weapons locker on the bridge, there might be something in there that can help, or at least something that they can take of value. Oh, okay, I see what you're This saying. is going to be Legion issue weaponry. You should be able to find something a little bit more heavy duty than an accelerator pistol. No, well, I will leave that to the pilot captain. I can melt the lock off if that is an issue, but... No, don't, no, it's... No, because then you could make it go... If there's munitions, it goes boom. Make a boom. Um, mm. happened once, wasn't fun. Have no friend anymore. Okay, maybe security tablet is the way forward then. Uh, hello, pilot captain. Uh, we believe there is a big box locker full of the guns of the legionnaires that uh, maybe we can take with us and then we scoot. We also believe that uh, the origin Legion of get the... very paranoid about mutinies, so there'll be mm. weapons on the bridge in case of a lower decks uprising. Well, that's so very... Again, the philosophy of the Legion is, is questionable. Uh, uh, the, I would like to explore the other cargo hold i believe it may hold the secret of the sugar globes and the sugar globes are highly profitable yes. Phil Silla is very interested in that as well profitable and perhaps name worthy noteworthy whichever one is mm. applicable oh it's not like i'm in it for the fame lies i can have all the fame no but you don't want it i'm attempting to be humble Oh, I believe you then. I failed my role. <laughs> Did you even make a role? I failed it. You choose to fail. Okay. I like yes. it. Good effort. I am deceived by your fake deception. <laughs> Empathy is so low. <laughs> it is. Empathy too. All right. Cool. Um, so, so do you want to do this? So, okay. If you do this you'll get first look in the gun locker if the scavengers do it they get first like into the gun locker what do you want to do i mean we between us can anyone shoot a gun well apart from me no and you still want to be the first one in there just in case because otherwise you're leading it up to kirsch mm. to be getting the first pick of Oh, well, I, I, I was, on the Legion warship. I was going to say that we're presumably taking Kirsch and Adia with us, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm just like yeah, uh, no, I no. know everybody's like friends, but also I appreciate you are. There's only ones. So, All right. They're technically like hostages. Like it was a prisoner exchange yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Let's oh, not forget that. We've decided to keep them. To keep them. If, if ours are dead, we get to keep them, right? That's how it works. Maybe. Like, okay, we'll do the say hello to my needle friend then. What okay. Would you like me to roll? This will be a technology roll. It will be um, a is it challenging minus two one. Uh, you have Jafar's security tabula, which will give you plus two. Oh, okay. okay. So it will be a flat roll. So this is seven dice. Previously, I failed on n. Yeah, no pressure there. Right, the less dice, the more successes. Oh well, oh, that's fair. The odds are more then. in your favor of rolling sixes when you have less dice, right? Yeah, less dice to fail. That's how that works. Yep. Million to one chances crop up nine times out of ten. 
they do if you are shooting dragons in the vulnerables. Mm. Um, I got one success. All right, do you want to push it and get any further? Oh, yeah, yeah, I need no encouragement for that. Oh, so, yeah. I will push it real good. So you keep the success and reroll the rest. You keep the success and reroll the rest. But you're still six dice, so you know, averages. I got another one. Excellent. Two right. Dolphins. So using the tabula um, takes you a little bit longer than you'd prefer. Um, you gain a bit of an audience. You don't get to do it kind of like while they're still ripping things out of the yeah. gunnery section kind of thing. So no, they're literally stealing targeting computers and cons you know, like super computers and that kind of stuff. Shell packs. I yeah. Can um, you take one of those for our ship as well? I'm just going to leave with a wheelbarrow of stuff. Well, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I played Dungeon of the Mad Mage with Graham and they were trying to steal all kinds of stuff from Under Mountain. It was just embarrassing. How we chatted about doing. Graham, but they've already stolen one for our ship. Decoration. <laughs> Old, old decoration. <laughs> All kinds of crap from the Mad Mage. We the did. Nothing of value, just absolute tats. We had a pub and we wanted to fill it with tats. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, folk. There you um, go. Um, yes, so what's so, in it? Okay. So there are a number of Vulcan weapons under here. Uh, okay. We have um, um, four Vulcan PDWs. Personal defense weapons. Yeah. Um, um, smaller than a carbine, typically used like close quarter kind of stuff. Yeah, they're like Uzi style weapons, like absolutely no accuracy, just fire a thousand bullets and help. No, PDW, hit. like little PDW, like personal defense weapons. Okay. Like little pew pew. Okay. Fair used enough. by bodyguards and I stuff. They were no. Spraying. Hey. Um, and then there is a legionnaire carb, uh, well, two legionnaire carbines, um, which come with built-in grenade launchers. Uh, two of them, so you have um, three PDWs and two um, carbines with grenade launchers on them. That's just what you want in your spaceship. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's why there's only two. Yeah, one for the captain and one for the first officer. Anything no. else? No, that's all that's in your, your locker. Right. Obviously, there's a, there's a reload for them. Yeah, okay. I'll take a carbine and a reload, and I'll offer a carbine to Adia. Oh, the, the other... Vul uh, Adia is like, yeah, puts it in the net of stuff. Like, they're taking it to oh, okay. scavenge um, rather than arm I'll themselves. Give Yusuf a PDW, do you have a gun? Um, I don't know, but you can have the PDW. Okay. And then I'll give another PDW to Kirsch. Kirsch is like, um, okay. And puts it in the net. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm, I'm, I'm acting like I'm sharing. Yeah. But obviously, I'm choosing what I'm sharing. Jafar, would you like a, P, a personal defense weapon? Not really, no. It would be very hard for Jafar to use it. Uh, in no, his exo. But, yeah, but for, it'd be very hard for Jafar to use it out of his exo. I mean, I didn't mean. You so. could hold now. it sideways in one of the claw hands. Yeah, yeah. A gangster. Well, you know, like I'll, a T Rex I'll it, gangster. I'll put it in Jafar's cargo net, and that leaves one left that I'll give to Adia. All right, so you give it two to it. So this one, the PDW, they put in their, their okay. like their exo. Like the small weapon. Um, Kirsch. Uh, Adia looks at you all and says, um, we're going to take maybe a little bit more, try and scavenge, and they gesture to the targeting computer, the, like the science side, try and sal salvage these. Are you going to wait for us or are you going to the hangar? We'll wait for them. Okay. Well, we, we don't want to be here for too long. What have they already got? I mean, they've, they've only got like two of the 10 computers. They want to, they're, they're, they're here to scout, like if they don't scavenge a lot of stuff, that's yeah. the point of the, the trip. I mean, we could help Jafar and make it quicker or we can go off and do our own thing. I don't mind, pilot captain, whatever you think is best. Perhaps you could tell them about the giant space monster. I don't really want to. That lives on the ship. Boy, and might boy, in my head. I don't really think we want to be doing that. I mean, we could just tell them it's dangerous. 
Yeah, I guess we could do that. I mean... Okay, I will tell him. Uh, hello, good scavenger friends. Uh, yes, Jafar. We... Famous Jafar. I have not seen your movies. Uh, that's good because... Okay, yeah. I need to talk to Baha about the branding, but um, clearly, um, yeah. Okay, so uh, we've had some reports from uh, the other scavenging party. Um, I've talked to everybody from the Michelle. Uh, I, I, I don't know whether there was anyone you were particularly attached to on that other mission. As everybody is my best friend, I love them all dearly. Oh, that's... We are all going to have a big family meal tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, For all of the remaining family will doubtless be having a lovely meal tomorrow. Yes. Being. Mm. Okay. Um, Adi is I... like squinty eyes at you. Like, what are you, are you winding my friend up? Uh, no, I, I have unfortunate news. I'm not very good at, at giving this. Um, uh, you know how sometimes life is a little bit like uh, the game of uh, Lotto? Uh, in that sometimes you are winning. Hmm? I've never and, won trip to Alchemars. And sometimes you are you are not the winning. Yes, that and, is me. Uh, mm, well, uh, currently it is actually the other party. They are the ones who are not the winning. They're uh, not they going the to ones... Alchemars either. No, we have a family meal tomorrow for a birthday. Are we doing um, it on Michel? Yes. You, you're going to make me cry because um, the, they, they have met with a creature of darkness. And um, I, I fear that there may not be many left. And you can see, like, Adia switches to another, another channel to talk to um, uh, Kirsch. And there is very animated, like, kind of stuff. And then Adia, Adia comes back onto, like, the group channel and is like, how do you know what happened? Uh, well, we were able to patch into the camera of uh, one of our grunts, uh, the, the other, the, the hostage exchange, and they were, they had breached a sealed area, and they seemed to release uh, a, a Bayara. Uh, what does a, that mean? It's a sort of bat space dragon thing that can fly through the darkness and um, basically is inimical to all life. And you know, when did you find this out? Is this what now? Yeah, we've found this out very recently. Um, also, looking at the data from the uh, data storage, there are possibly, uh, I don't know, maybe five of these in uh, the ship. This ship? Mm -hmm. This, this, they do mm -hmm. that, that sort of. Well, you know, it's scattered across space and the moon, so maybe not all here. But if we could hurry it up, that might be good. Right. And then there's, there's, the, there's like the beep as they leave the channel and go to another channel. Turn around and they're, they're talking to, to Kirsch. And Kirsch, Kirsch sits down. And there's, there's like, you know, this sort of stuff and Adia is like doing this sort of stuff. And there's like, come on, you know, that kind of stuff. And Kirsch just sits down. And Kirsch like comes back onto them and it's like, I don't like. I want to go home now. Okay. We would also like to be moving on. No. It's a home now. Let's go. Okay. Adia is a bit like, no, look, we need to get, we need to, look, if we don't go back with stuff, this has been a wasted journey. And that kind of, that, like, that kind of conversation is going on. But Kirsch is very much like, nope. Full on, sat on the floor, not happy. I understand your displeasure, and um, your your friend is correct that you are here for a reason. Um, let us make the best of a few moments that we have, and then we will return, and we will do our utmost to keep you safe. Yes. I want I want a gun. I gave him oh. a gun. Two guns. You you have many guns. Okay. <laughs> they go over to the net and get a gun. I will. No, they Jafar, don't look very confident with the gun. Do you want to, like, get these 
Do you still want to check out the sugar globes? Well, yes, but... We could send these guys on the way up to our ship and check out the sugar globes. You want us to split up? I mean, they're not fighters anyway. Uh, mm. We do not have to. If you want to try and persuade them to stay on the ship longer, then we can. Can we? Hang on. Um, Nadina? Hello. Hello. So if we make our way to the cargo hold that has the sugar globe entity, mm -hmm. do we think we can also leave the ship through that part? Um, well, yeah. If, the, if it was breached, then there should be a, a stonking great hole in it. Um, and also that's, okay. that's where the sugar globes are coming out, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you could use the XO to get, to get out. out that way. You could just, just rise. So we can force our way. Okay. So this is another exit. Okay. So, okay. Switching channel. Thank you. Beep. Okay. Uh, Cecilia, if we make for the other cargo hold, then that is also a way out. So I think this is our strategy. If we just go out a different way. And then hopefully I tell uh, Adia and Kirsch that um, the sugar gloves are worth a lot of money and they could just grab a couple on the way out and that would pay for the trip. Mm, uh, but I don't think Kirsch really cares anymore. I think the expediency angle is the one that might work better. Okay. Okay, oh. we have managed to plot uh, a way out that we think may be faster. Um, and uh, will lead us to the surface and then back to our ship and then back to your ship um, as fast as we can. Can we assist with the removal of any important and valuable panels? Yes, let's do it. Okay. And he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Um, and Adia goes a bit into like, you can tell that they have done organized, like shift organizations. Like you, you rip that out, you get that out. You've got the exosuit so you can get those, con you know, that kind of stuff. They go into like they start like piling stuff near the door, kind of thing. Um, do you let them scavenge as much as they want, or do you draw a line after a certain point? Oh, I think we are only going to give them a couple more um, five ten minutes. Time units tops. are. All right. So, so by the time. Um, Hang on a sec, Millie. Yeah. Sorry. While they're doing their scavenging. Can I ask Nadina to look at see if they can identify any of the biosignals that could be Biara, any kind of life sign or anti-life signs on the ship mm -hmm. okay. that's down below? So if I, I can at least give them a kind of heads up mm -hmm. if we do see something moving towards them. All right, so we, we maybe um, try and use Jafar 2 to as big a potential as we can. Um, uh, yeah, let's make um, let's make a, a minus two observation roll with uh, Nadina and Jafar too. So that would be nine dice. Anybody would like to roll for her? No, everybody's like no. All right, I will roll them if you want. Ben, you could roll. If you want. I have rolled them. Oh, excellent. Uh, one, two, three, four successes. Ooh, wow. Excellent. Okay, we're just gonna let Ben do all the. Yeah, rolls. I wish I was playing Yahtzee to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, we had a Yahtzee chat earlier again today. Um, she just made us laugh. Um, so, okay, so Nadina um, and Shanaz, um, you're looking over all this kind of stuff. Um, EM, thermal, um, what else could there be? Um, movement. Noise. Uh, They'd make that. Ambient sound, like you know that kind of acoustic. stuff yeah acoustic kind of stuff like the probe is just like set to do this and it does take a little while because it's set you know it, and now and again it'll go Bill, that kind of stuff and it'll do stuff it, it's trying to get as much as it physically can um and there's a, there's this but like all right okay let me let me overlay that let me this um Janaz, i don't i don't think there's anything else on the ship other than them and the and, and whatever's making like i can get the the sort of reaction from the well i guess it's the what okay whatever there's nothing moving whatever is making the the glow globes the sugar globes that's the only other thing on the ship 
Okay. I'll radio down and let them know. Can you try and um, see if you can get a link to the other ship? Don't necessarily put a call through. Just see if you can get into Farouk's comm channel, see if there's any conversation happening. Um, yeah. Um, and then she she goes over. But to don't like, open comms. Goes over to the other. Like, well, I can still get the audio from his. his yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me let me see if there's a, a locator as well. Um, Does that include his breathing? Yeah, so I'll radio down and tell them that there doesn't appear to be anything other than them and the Glow Globe producer on the ship that they're in, so they do have a little bit of time, but that we're also tracking the movement of the other ship and possibly Farouk, if we can, we're just trying to get a fix on that signal. And then after a moment, she's like, what? I... He's... I, can... I can hear his breathing. Um, I can also, and it, she puts it on speaker, and you can hear like um, beep, beep, you know, like a heart monitor sort of thing, and then a familiar voice. You know, you remember the like the multi-armed captain? Remember them? Yes. You can hear, um, you can hear them seeing like, I they're not part of my crew. I don't care if they're gonna survive. Give them adrenaline. I want to know what happened to the rest of the people. The only person left alive on the ship when we came back for it. If there is some radiation or something terrible, what if he just, what if just a crazy legionnaire? Those other folks have done us over. There, it might just be good fortune that he he's passed out and one of our guys got a good good swing in. Wake him up, right? Give him yeah, the Jenny, drugs. You, you better try and put me through to them. Okay, okay. Um, and she basically she just sends out like a hello, <laughs> a hail kind of thing. Um, you get um, up on the screen for for the Michelle. You get somebody um, um, dressed in no like full nomad kind of face covering. You know that kind of thing, um, and they say uh, greetings. How is your Salam, mission going? I need to speak with your captain urgently about what's just happened on the other ship before he gives that legionnaire any adrenaline and a reason to become aggressive. Please stand by. And the screen goes back to like the Michelle salvage logo kind of thing. Um, there is a tense moment um, and it's a very tight shot. Like, He's obviously over some sort of terminal. He's like super close up like kind of thing rather than on his bridge looking cool. <clears throat> you basically see up his nostrils and stuff. Um, Shouting. Well, he's over like a, ta you know, he's doing it on his mobile rather than his big screen. Um, and he, you know, this very close kind of face comes on and is like, what did you do? What so did long, you Captain, let me explain. Do not give that man any adrenaline. If you try to wake him up, he is likely to become aggressive and dangerous. Let me explain what we've been able to uncover since last we spoke. Please understand, we knew none of this information before we separated and went our two separate ways. We've had a chance now to look at two sections of the ship, the section that you went to salvage and the section that we went to salvage. From the two sections, we've been able to ascertain that something happened to the ship during portal transit. Something from the dark between the stars has come back with them. Multiple contacts of hull breaching something. It looks to be a Biara, one of the mythical beasts of the darkness, but they're real. We have footage that I've taken from the other Legionnaire's shoulder camera that shows it attacking him her sorry and your people and and nadina is like nadina does this behind like out like in shot like ah, i can send it kind of thing like sort i of. can send you the footage if you want you can see for yourself do so i'll give her the wave <laughs> we've also managed to pull some information from the section of the ship that we've been exploring it looks like there may be multiple incidences of these things on the ship parts 
we had no knowledge of this until we got gained access to the computer core on the ship section that we've explored. We will... But do not wake up that legionnaire. He is dangerous. All right, make a manipulation roll. Oh, yeah. All successes. All right. So, so Captain Yamini um, spits on the floor in the med lab of his ship. You can hear someone go, ah, in the background. Um, <laughs> he spits on the floor. He says, I will have my crew look at this footage. If it's doctored, if it's AI generated, if it's anything other than legitimate footage, I will be very, very cross. And the screen cuts out. That's fair. I'll send in the raw footage. You know, this has happened. This completely bypassing the still Silo and Jafar. I assume this is like something Shanaz has... Well, right. this is something Shinaz has got to deal with as you go through the, like, leave the airlock yeah. kind of stuff, moving you forwards sort of thing. He's on the other ship, right? Who, Yamini? Captain Yamini? Yeah. He's on the main scavenger shift, yeah. Oh, okay. I but thought... they sent a smaller <laughs> ship small craft. from the... They <laughs> sent the shuttle. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'd be like, danger close, dickhead. <laughs> Time to run away. Yeah. Um... So, so yeah, he would be very cross. It cuts out. You, um, Nadina sends over the data packet kind of thing. Um, and by the time that's done, we're, we're, we're back in the water-soaked corridor. Um, we are towing with us. A baby! No, you're going out that way, aren't you? You told them they're going to go. So, so um, Kirsch has got like a, a cargo net full of stuff probably cling filmed wrapped up so it doesn't get too waterlogged that sort of thing um who's got the emerald disc the scintilla you got this half foot square box well, I, was, I think i was going to stick it in jafar's yes i, I will take pocket. care of the irreplaceable oh, okay. historical artifact sure Thank sure you. sure um and we make our way following the the deck plan even to the other hangar As you, you sort of um, make your way, you open the door into this other hangar. Um, the, uh, inside the, the destroyed uh, bay, broken Jura beams fused with dark and shattered control boards. This trickle of sugar globes floating slowly upwards, bouncing off ceilings and out through a hole in the side, twinkling softly like small stars as they pass through the, uh, the water. Try to look at the center of the hangar, but there seems to be an impenetrable darkness in the set that, that forces your gaze away. Uh, a secret that denies itself to you sends a throbbing pangs of pain uh, through your head and blood gushing through your nose. Everybody gets a nosebleed. I mean, I'm okay to take a hint at this point. Eventually, <laughs> eventually however, something flashes briefly into focus. Um, Something dark and dead that makes you think of a butterfly. Insects' wings are torn and body broken, and hairs through the hull streak its side. Hairs large enough for an exo. What could possibly await you inside? And I think, I think with like, look, something. And as, like, after the nosebleed, after you sort of take a moment um, and see these sugar globes sort of appearing out of nothing nosebleed inside us i know it's not nice it's very messy uh we're getting all of this on camera can you see this yeah yeah you can you can see the blackness mm -hmm. yeah but without the psychic effect 
I imagine, because... Oh, yes, I would like to report the psychic effect. Yes, hello. Is that uh, Central Medical Bay? Oh, I'm there is a psychic effect, is there? Bleeding from my nose. I uh, just pan across it's to... It's just the pressure. Uh, Silsile is also bleeding from the nose. Uh, no, how are our engineering no, 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 no. party? How are they looking? Hi! Yeah, Yusuf does not look um, well. Mm. Oh, wow, it looks like someone is trying to crush Yusuf's skull from the inside. Um... Uh, Kirsch um, has nosebleed as well, and Adia looks very grumpy and also has a nosebleed. Well, you also you already looked grumpy, so it's not yeah, a big change look. there. Not bad for the Skivara, they've got bigger nostrils than you. Mm, it's a lot of blood. Mm. Um, okay, uh, let's hope there are not... No, I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> um, Save that thought for next week, Jafar. Mm. Because it is almost half past dun, eleven, dun, 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 um, dun. and there is something, some sort of dead butterfly ship, in the hangar hold, um, that we can go and explore next week. Thank you very much for playing Coriolis with me. I've had so much fun. Oddly enough, we haven't seen one of those things since we were no. playing different characters, but on Kua, mm -hmm. where those yes. where the sugar, sugar globes, globes come, come from. from. I remember oh. this as well. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. I know what's inside the ship. Very excited. This is going to be fun. <laughs> is it somebody? Tell you what, let's not go that way. Let's just do the sensible thing and go back to our own ship and just leave. But Jafar wouldn't. Oh, no, Jafar so wouldn't. Jafar <laughs> wouldn't. That's the what thing. is this? Oh, I must know. Yeah, neither would Silsila. We're in it for the cash. I love oh, yes, it. okay, fine. I found the emerald disc of the long lost legion ship that will make my name once again and will make us all fabulously rich. But this, oh, this is so much more interesting. Um, but yeah, so next week we will explore what is inside the, the darkness. Um, thank you very much for playing for uh, Coriolis with me. Um, what are we doing? We're on Tuesday. Tomorrow, um, if you're free during the day, BST. Uh, come and play some uh, Iron Forge Star. I can't remember the name. Come and play some uh, solo RPGs with me um, here on uh, Garblag Games Twitch Games. Um, I'm gonna play. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I, I think I'm gonna play um, Iron Forged, which is the sci-fi solo RPG tomorrow, and then maybe later in the week because um, we did a Patreon poll and a Twitter poll. We, me and the frog in my pocket. Um, did a patron poll, poll and a Twitter poll about whether we should also play um, Strider mode for the One Ring. So I think we'll do that later in the week as well. We'll just do both of them because I love RPG. Play it. It's one of them Rangers from the north. It's one of them Rangers. We'll do the that bastards. later in the week. So we'll do a bit of space tomorrow morning uh, if you're free during lunchtime, and we we'll do a bit of fantasy on Friday. Um, so that's tomorrow, and then in the evening, I know this because I I checked before. Let me find. Let me find the picture. And then tomorrow evening, um, 2100 BST, is some Wrath and Glory. How does the dance? And glory. Yeah, there we go. Wrath and Glory. Um, and then Friday, I uh, know, then Thursday, because I'm Thursday. Wishing, wishing the week away. Um, Cyberpunk, is Cyberpunk on this week? Cyberpunk on Thursday, and Acton Cthulhu for the Americans. Ah, Acton Cthulhu. For, and then for anybody who wants to watch it on YouTube later. Um, and then Friday, are we... Wait, hang on. No, no. Wrong week. Wrong week. We're well, back it up. Star, oh, Star Finding. the Americans. Star Finding. Excellent. A little bit of Paizo. Um, and then on Friday, are we Monster Weeking or... Um, I think we're Marveling, Marveling. actually. Nice. Yeah. It's been exciting. If you've missed the Marveling, we've been, uh, you can check them all out on YouTube already. So many people want to check out the Marvel. It's excellent. Um, and that's the that's the week but come and join us on the discord um and you can find out more information on everything else and this weekend on patreon it's gartopia is launched and it is the launch of our new mini magazine dun, 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 you can find dun. out all kinds of amazing don't do that it's very loud on the microphones oh, I just thought it'd be in the background. No. <laughs> yeah, $4 tier and up, you get access to the Gartopia magazine now, which is produced every month, which has got some D12 tables, a dungeon, a character, magic item, 
bunch of little stuff that can be slotted into games and they're all made to be system neutral it's so they awesome. should be able to fit into any game get it's edition one tell your kids you were there when it began mm -hmm. but in the meantime thank you very much for playing games with me thank you very much for joining us this evening um and we'll be back tomorrow bye, bye.